Corpse Human. I'm trying to get this business right for some years. But who really cares? Incorporated my company with a hundred million shares. But who really cares? I taught myself to wholesale real estate in about a year. But who really cares? My trust revocable for the benefit of a chosen few. But who really there? Who really there? You? What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Corp Sumer Inc. Real Estate and Lifestyles channel. Felt like I ain't seen y'all in a while, man. So, yeah, I'm happy to be back. Uh, today's video is going to be about a very, very interesting conversation I had with the infamous Chat GPT. Yeah, I said it, the AI bot chat gpt i made some statements uh and i asked some very direct questions and you won't believe what happens next hello hello chat gpt you there i'm here bro why would i choose chat gpt over any competitor and who are your competitors as an ai language model I don't have direct knowledge of specific competitors that may have emerged after my knowledge cut off in September 2021. However, as of my last update, some of the prominent competitors in the field of AI language models were models like Microsoft's Turing, Google's Chatbot. There are several reasons why you might consider using ChatGPT. Language understanding. ChatGPT has been trained on a diverse range of internet text allowing it to understand and generate human-like responses across a wide array of topics. Large knowledge base, with its extensive training on a wide range of internet sources, ChatGPT, can provide information and answer questions on a wide variety of subjects. Flexibility and adaptability, ChatGPT, can be adapted and fine-tuned for specific tasks or domains, making it versatile for different applications. Continual improvement. OpenAI continues to make updates and improvements to the underlying GPT architecture, refining the model's capabilities over time. User-friendly interaction. ChatGPT is designed to provide natural and engaging conversations, allowing users to interact with it in a conversational manner. Ultimately, the choice of AI language model depends on your specific requirements and preferences. It's always a good idea to try out different models and compare their performance to see which one aligns best with your needs. What simple system was ChatGPT derived from? ChatGPT is derived from the GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer family of models. The GPT models are based on the transformer architecture, which was introduced by Vaswani et al. In the paper, Attention is All You Need in 2017. The transformer architecture revolutionized the field of natural language processing and LP by introducing a self-attention mechanism, which allows the model to weigh the importance of different words in a sentence when processing it. This attention mechanism enables the model to capture contextual relationships effectively and handle long-range dependencies in text. GPT, specifically, stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. The model is trained in a two-step process, pre-training and fine-tuning. During pre-training, GPT learns from a large corpus of publicly available text data, such as books, articles, and websites. It learns to predict the next word in a sentence given the preceding context. This pre-training phase helps the model to acquire a general understanding of language. After pre-training, the model is fine-tuned on specific tasks by providing it with task-specific datasets and training it to perform well on those tasks. Fine-tuning enables GPT to be adapted to various applications, such as text completion, translation, summarization, and conversational agents like chat. GPT. Chat GPT specifically focuses on improving the conversational capabilities of the base GPT models by fine-tuning them on dialogues and interactive conversations, making it more suitable for chat-based interactions. Now that I have access to you, are we fine-tuning your system?
As an individual user, you do not have direct access to fine-tune the system or modify the underlying AI model. Fine-tuning is a process that requires significant computational resources, expertise, and access to large datasets. It is typically conducted by organizations or researchers in collaboration with OpenAI. As an AI language model user, you can provide feedback on generated responses through the user interface to help OpenAI gather insights and improve the system. OpenAI continuously works on refining and enhancing its models based on user feedback and specific research and development efforts. If you have suggestions or feedback on how the system could be improved or any specific concerns, I encourage you to share them, and I'll do my best to provide helpful responses within the capabilities of the model. Who pre-trained you? Am I contributing to your pre-training? I have been pre-trained by OpenAI using a large corpus of publicly available text from the internet. The specific details of the training process, including the sources of the training data, have not been publicly disclosed. As for contributing to my pre-training, interacting with me as a user does not directly contribute to the pre-training process. However, OpenAI may gather and utilize user interactions and feedback to improve the models and develop future versions. This feedback helps in refining the model's responses, addressing biases, and enhancing overall performance. It's important to note that while user interactions and feedback can be used to improve the system, they are typically anonymized and stripped of personally identifiable information to maintain privacy and confidentiality. What is the opposite of AI? The opposite of AI artificial intelligence would generally be considered as natural intelligence or simply human intelligence. AI refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, such as learning, problem solving, and decision making. Natural intelligence, on the other hand, refers to the intelligence exhibited by living beings, particularly humans. It encompasses a wide range of cognitive abilities, including perception, understanding, creativity, emotional intelligence, and consciousness. While AI aims to simulate or replicate aspects of human intelligence, it is not the same as natural intelligence and does not possess the same characteristics, consciousness, or subjective experience. So, if AI didn't create itself, then it will always rely on human intelligence for updates and commands. Is this a valid statement? Yes, that is a valid statement. AI systems, including their development, updates, and deployment, rely on human intelligence. AI does not create itself autonomously. It is designed, developed, and maintained by human engineers, researchers, and practitioners. The initial creation of AI systems involves human intelligence in designing the architecture, algorithms, and training methodologies. These systems are then trained on data, often labeled or curated by humans, to learn patterns and make predictions or generate responses. Furthermore, ongoing updates, improvements, and maintenance of AI systems require human intervention. This includes fine-tuning the models, addressing biases, improving performance, and ensuring the ethical and responsible use of AI technologies. In addition, AI systems typically operate within predefined boundaries and are governed by rules and commands set by humans. They follow instructions and respond to user inputs based on their programming and training. While AI systems can learn from data and make predictions or generate outputs, they still depend on human intelligence for their development, updates, and guidance. Human involvement is crucial for ensuring the responsible, ethical, and beneficial use of AI technologies. Intelligence represents the cognitive abilities and capacity to understand and use information while data 
refers to the raw facts or observation that serves as the basis for generating information and knowledge. Intelligence processes and interprets data to make sense of it and derive useful insights all from human action. Is this a valid statement? Yes, the statement you provided is valid. Intelligence can be defined as the ability to acquire, comprehend, and apply knowledge and skills. It involves processes such as reasoning, problem solving, decision making, and learning from past experiences. Data, on the other hand, refers to raw and processed facts or observations. Intelligence processes and interprets data by applying cognitive abilities to extract meaning, identify patterns, and generate insights or knowledge. Human action, including cognitive processes, plays a crucial role in the transformation of data into valuable information and understand it. What are the top three best things about chat GPT? The top three best things about ChatGPT are its versatility, intelligence, and interactive nature. ChatGPT is designed to handle a wide range of tasks and topics. It can engage in conversations, answer questions, provide explanations, offer suggestions, and even generate creative content like stories or poems. Its versatility makes it suitable for various applications and enables users to interact with it in different contexts. ChatGPT is built upon the powerful GPT 3.5 architecture, which has been trained on vast amounts of text data. It possesses a remarkable ability to understand and generate human-like responses. It can comprehend complex queries, infer context, and provide insightful answers based on the information it has been trained on. This intelligence allows for engaging and meaningful interactions with users. ChatGPT is designed to be interactive and conversational, making it feel more like interacting with a human rather than a machine. It can maintain context throughout a conversation, remember previous exchanges, and respond in a coherent and contextually appropriate manner. Its interactive nature creates a more engaging and natural user experience, enhancing its usability in various conversational scenarios. Overall, the versatility, intelligence, and interactive nature of ChatGPT contribute to its effectiveness as a language model, enabling users to have dynamic and informative conversations. Both forms of intelligence artificial intelligence and natural intelligence have the potential to serve humanity for the benefit of humans in different ways. Thank you so much, ChatGPT, for taking my call today. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. You provided tons and tons of insight. Um, you definitely gave some really uh, straightforward answers and you got straight to the point. Um, again, we really appreciate it and uh, feel free to give us a shout out uh, whenever you get a chance. Thanks again, brother. Have a good day. Thank you for having me on the Corp. Sumer Inc. Real Estate and Lifestyles channel. Find me at chat.openai.com. Peace and blessings. I'm out. Corp. Sumer. I'm trying to get this business right for some years. But who really cares? Incorporated my company with a hundred million shares. But who really cares? I taught myself to wholesale real estate in about a year. But who really cares? My trust revocable for the benefit of a chosen few. But who really there? Who really there? You?